Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Welcome to the Stomo Show. Alrighty, we got a doozy today because hopefully, hopefully, chaos, please. This is this is the last the last new release before the silver release gets updated. So this is release 2.6, and we are going to be hopefully staying on 2.6 for the rest of the time um, because I have to keep resetting PBs because a lot of stuff has gotten changed in between these releases. Mainly, release 2.6 is going to be a little bit slower, but it's also going to be a little bit easier because um, some of the harder tricks like the flame core skip got patched out. I completely re didn't realize that the, the desktop audio wasn't on. So. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one. Let's go. Release 2.6. Interesting kind of new development. I don't know if this is new to release 2.6 or if this is just uh, something that was um, added recently. You'll see me doing two homing attacks in the air. Um, if you know anything about this game, you know that there's a homing attack refresh when Sonic does a bounce attack or when Shadow does a chaos spear. But just like the high jump, if you press the button simultaneously, you skip the bounce animation slash chaos spear animation depending on what hedgehog you're playing as. So that's super useful as we don't lose any height with Sonic and we don't waste a bunch of time with Shadow. So uh, that's what I'm doing there. Um, if you notice that I'm doing more than one homing attack in the air, and that'll be really useful in Kingdom Valley. And we just fly out right up here and hit the switch since between release 2 and 2.6. Uh, Chaos X did patch out the uh, Orca cutscene skip. So we get to use Super Sonic in the Mach Speed section now, which means we get to do that sexy, sexy roof launch. So it's pretty free, all you gotta do is line yourself up with the roof, jump with supersonic, and then you fly. The important thing is to kind of stay in line with the egg carrier, or else you will, uh, you will die. There's actually a kill point. Let's head straight to Eggman's base. So, the first uh, alteration from 2.5 is going to be right here. So, we're going to grab the purple gem, and we need to go a little bit later in the level um, because we're going to need a lot more height than we initially needed since the purple gem doesn't send us as high anymore. So, we're going to have to kill a bunch of these enemies to get the purple gem to level 3. High jump up this searchlight, break it for good measure. And then we'll stand at the top, do a high jump. One, two, three. Homing attack, refresh, sky gem. Should get us right over. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't quite get it. Makes White Acropolis a little bit less free just because this is really tight here. So you gotta get the apex there, those three jumps. There we go, cleared it. Much more difficult than it was just because there's so much, didn't even know it was there. Oh yeah. Thankfully, it's literally, it is like, it is so close. It's pretty much as close as the, uh, the old wave ocean skip with tails. Like, it is, it is just unbelievably close. You can just squeeze right over it. We can actually charge up our blue gem, but we're not going to be needing it. Um, and that was a very, uh, <laughs> that was a very dumb death. Like, if you mess up anywhere. So that's the thing is while I enjoy 06's level design, it relies pretty heavily on bottomless pits. Like cause you got the obviously the ocean wave ocean, the quicksand and dusty desert, the lava of Crisis City and Flame Core, um, Radical Train, you're over a pit, Tropical Jungle, you're over a bunch of water and jungle and and, and bottomless pits essentially. Kingdom Valley are over bottomless pits, and Aquatic Base is probably the best with it. It doesn't have too many bottomless pits. But we're gonna go ahead and do the skip here. Uh, if we jump high enough, we can avoid the kill planes and land right on this stretch. That way, yes, very quick level that punishes you severely, yes. And the checkpoints are kind of sparse, so it's, uh, it's imperative that you don't mess up too bad or else you're kind of screwed in terms of your run. Uh, considering making a, a tutorial um, for P06 speed running, so certainly um, I'll definitely put this clip on YouTube. So if you guys are interested in seeing me uh, make a tutorial for this game, be sure to comment that you'd like to see that. And if somebody comments, definitely like that comment. 
uh, just to make it easy and the people want it because I think it's a really fun speed game to get into. Community super nice. Everyone's super welcoming and super supportive of each other, which I can say is like a pretty a pretty common thing among speedrunning communities, which is something I'm really happy about. You know, nobody's, you know, jealous. Maybe they like to poke fun at each other for, you know, beating each other and like getting world record and that kind of stuff or getting a better PV, but no one no one's a jerk. At least in my encounter so far, so uh, that might be a death. That's a death. Whoops. And now the trick that has become a little bit tougher because you have a lot less wiggle room than you did um, in previous versions here. Let's see if I can get this trick. Very close. <laughs> uh, that's so scary. Uh, that is way scarier and it doesn't end because <laughs> you mess up the high jump well thankfully there's a quick backup to refresh your purple meter and try it again i think you can try it twice before it becomes moot so we'll go ahead and try the skip again and that kind of stuff see this is this is a skip where i think it's pretty uh I think it's like more about the game mechanics than like, you know, cheese in the game, so I hope Chaos X leaves this one in. It definitely becomes a lot tighter. There's the usage of a double uh the double homing attack. Again, that's just pressing the X and A button if you're on a Xbox controller or if you're on PlayStation, I believe it's probably what X and Circle. Or no, X and Square. Level up that gem to level three. We're gonna switch to the purple gem here and hopefully get ball skip. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to take it just a little bit slower. Just because the purple gem doesn't give us nearly as much distance as it used to, which is super unfortunate. And we lost it. <laughs> you have an incredibly tight window to do a jump right after that spin dash, so I'm not too upset about missing that. Now we switch over to uh, the one who doesn't chuckle. Rougher than the rest of them, Mr. Knuckles. So Stamo Yogi, Tails is obviously the fastest character. He does have the fastest stage. Well, no, Dusty Desert is the fastest. But, I mean, he might as well be the fastest. You know, look at him fly. <laughs> oh, you play, you play his Tails three times? Play once in Wave Ocean, once in Aquatic Base, and then Wave Ocean again. I don't think I'm missing anything. But yeah, it, it's no question. Tails, I mean, look at him go. Because it's kind of brain dead playing as Tails in SA1, not gonna lie. Alright, 32.55. Not a bad time at all. Not a bad time at all, especially for our first run on 2.6. Getting used to new tricks, new movement, that kind of stuff. This could be the deathless run. It couldn't. We'll find out. Stay tuned. I can't get those fast. I don't know what causes those dash panels to send you slowly or send you quickly. Like, the, the earlier I activate my shield, I feel like the more likely it is. Maybe it's just how you hit them, honestly. But going slow wastes you, like, two seconds, and there's nothing you can do about it. And in a dusty desert with how short of a level it is, that's a lot of time loss. You have a McDonald's level against your product placement. <laughs> no, like how in Mario Kart, Mario uh, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, there's Mercedes product placement. We need some. Uh, what, what car brand? I guess maybe Mustang. Oh, 360. Nice, got the 360. If this is deathless, good thing we did we did that, or else I would have had to do it again. <laughs> it's like, I mean, this this is me. Like, uh, Bonzo720 knows me in real life. I am the exact same on camera that I am in real life. I'm just as dweeby, just as energetic, and I talk just as much, that's for sure. So, like Sonic says, what you see is what you get. Just a guy who loves to talk. <laughs> uh, it'll be re -time. Well, there goes that. <laughs> I guess it wasn't meant to be. Oh, that's really sad. I've never died there before. St. Elmo Steakhouse? I guess maybe someone with the last name of Elmo? Is, is that a last name that people have? Like, I'm sure the name Elmo just didn't come out of nowhere. I have 
heard that Knuckles is kind of an idiot. <laughs> How about a little help? Sonic, a uh, YouTuber reference. Maybe you'll get it. Maybe you won't. All right, 32-16. Lost 40 seconds. Of course, that's deathless. That's an easy 28. But hey, PB, PB, PB. Weather report from Wave Ocean. Cloudy with a chance of launching hedgehogs. Yes, sir. Whoa. Okay, cool. That, that was a, a reactionary bounce, and I'm glad I did it. Or else that would have ended quite poorly. All right, here we go. That's good. Don't want to hit the kill plane. Uh, maybe we'll make it? No, we're not going to make it. That's too bad. Let me go ahead and take the slow here. That should be good. Right into the goal ring. Very nice. I almost would have preferred a Sonic Heroes like idea. Also, like, where does the snowboard come from? And, like, why is. Sonic like using it and it's also like why is there a snowboard and ice cap as well but like you know at least it was like there already and Sonic jumped onto it this snowboard just comes out of nowhere this is like you will remember ice cap <laughs> gift shop you like the oh he got it from the, the white acropolis gift shop you know I could definitely see Eggman having a gift shop <laughs> in his top secret base I mean, shit, and Unleashed Eggman, man. Eggman Land is a whole theme park, so... Jump. Certainly he'd have one. It's not gonna lie, the first thing I did, because the most nostalgia I have with, like, the original 06 is buying all the gems, and literally, for hours, I'd just mess around in the hub worlds using... Like using the gems to get to different areas or break different things. I even did the thing that got like kind of access a free mode where you could play uh, in New City with Tails and Knuckles, uh, doing a couple tricks and that kind of thing. All right, guess we're doing it that way. I love. Uh, I honestly kind of love Section Two of Tropical Jungle. That little part right there. So much movement. Don't know if green gems faster there, but I like using it. So, want to get as many gems in as possible. Because I think with that, every useful gem is used because the yellow gem and the red gem are pointless. So, I think with the green gem right there, everything's good. All right, looks like we're gonna be maybe getting a 28. Definitely, definitely sub 30, unless I die in Wave Ocean with Tails, which I guess is was possible. <laughs> yep, high 28. All right. Very cool. Very good run. Very good run. 28.56. Very cool. Very cool. PB. 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 Good run, thank you, thank you. I wonder, I really wonder how much lower it can go to be honest. But anyway, that is going to be it from me today, folks. If you're on YouTube, uh, you can check out my previous video right here. You can check out uh, a uh, whatever video is recommended to you there. And you should subscribe right in the middle there. All right, everyone, have a good evening, stay safe, and take care.